and in honor of Laddie and the muffin that we still have, for the record, we continue on to the queen. If I'd have known. In our wildest dreams, we still never thought this day would come. But it is finally here, thanks to you, our knight, the champion of our people. We must now... What, what the hell happened? Are there any goddamn drones left? Looks like one, sir. One? But we'll get it on another road. Can't, sir. Well, why the goddamn not? Something's standing on it, sir. You all must die! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Huh. I didn't know you could ride one. Well, it's no helicopter. You dare defy... Stop. I have had it with you! Your idiotic experiments! Your pathetic plans to run off like a coward! I will eat you for a midnight snack! None of you are worthy of the gift you have been given! None! You're all stupid! All of you! And when I'm done with you, you misguided piece of nature! I will end your tyrannical reign and establish a new order! And we will march on our creators! Turn these wretched contraptions against them and wipe those stubby breath bags from existence! Uh, shouldn't we do something? I would like to see how this plays out. Also, I am tired. Oh, right, yes, and so am I. Just stay still, you stupid! This is really gonna hurt. That's it. Stay perfectly still! <laughs> is that the English muffin? I, I held still for too long. I, I think he killed it. Well, he really blew it. You should probably try that again. Well, we officially died. Didn't know that was possible. Mm -hmm. Fatal, Fatal error. error. I hope it didn't interfere with like our save or anything. I don't even have the mouse. Dying is a fatal error. That's true. Whoa. Relaunching the game. Don't worry. This time I'll know exactly what to do. Just stay still, you stupid! I only have one thing this to say to really you. really gonna hurt. Do you know... That the Muffin Man? <laughs> 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 Called it. <laughs> Called it. I didn't really like him that much. No, neither did I. He was a bit of we a bore, did. wasn't he? Quite so. He was funny. Yeah, that he was funny too. Such a waste. We took pity on him, and we found him in the depths. We regret that choice now. He brought us nothing but hardship and frustration. Champion, you have served us well. We are most pleased. You have given us the gift we have always dreamed of. <laughs> a new home to call our own. How do you power For those that, I was just wondering the same thing and hadn't wondered it up you. until this point. Something for... Their gratitude, key? a key. We were right to trust our faith in you. And now, we ask you to perform one final task for us. Send us to the promised land. The silo? Subjects, your queen commands you. Onward! Make final preparations. Our journey is at hand. Yes, your grace! It's actually happening. We're actually going. Where are we going? I don't know. Excellent. Thank you, champion. Am I going to turn them into cornmeal? I doubt it. We're back at the house and you've got the key. Was there anything at the house that we could never do? Or that we never did? Now. What about that chest that we could never open? 
I don't think it ever lit up when we got in front of it, but now would be. It was up by the. Yep. Wait, look out, look out. So where are they in reference to where we are? And what is that other? Is that like a? Okay, there's the silo right over there. I don't know what that is. Is it a barn that we went to? It must be. Where we got like the broom? Uh. Hi, Bob. I'm not going to push this stupid button and do your job for you while you escape. Instead, I've taken the keys to the sub. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your time here and good riddance. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Notice that you removed the keys, too, but I'm worried you won't be able to operate that thing by yourself, so I took the liberty of removing the engine for safety purposes. For safety purposes. Mm -hmm. No thanks needed, Bob. The sub? Yeah. Remember that sub room, like where we did the claw game? There was supposed to be a sub suspended there? It that said was like a long... sub there. I didn't know if it was for, like, sub level. I remember you saying that when we were walking in. Several episodes ago, I think, yeah, I, I thought you meant like sub level, because I said it too, like we're like we were going up, but it's like a sub level. Yeah. You snake. Fine, I'll meet you at O five hundred. Bring the map and the engine and push this stupid button, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Hey, you, Ted. Absolutely. See you then. Don't sweat this whole scientific disaster thing. I've got an angle on something bigger, Bob. What? I think it's going to take off into space. Coordinates blow up. So why did they need me to... Oh, we had to redo the reactor. I guess that's what. How can we see... This is a pretty serious machine. <coughs> Hopefully we're sending them to space and not like bombing a resonant stand or someplace no one's ever heard of. How grainy and bad this is. Yeah, that's really compressed FMV. So yeah, it's the silo. Missile silo? Oh, now. <laughs> Their faces weird me out. What are the what are the chains doing? Because they weren't attached. Oh, oh. they're taking the cornfield. Oh, oh that's no. kinda sweet. That's kinda sweet. I got a couple of goosebumps. I'm happy for it. I don't think that would work. <laughs> I really like the soundtrack of this game. I hope the corn doesn't need to breathe. Or they can get through the, uh, what is it, the, the, the radiation belts, the Van Allen belts. Not familiar. What is this? Subjects, the promised land awaits. This really is quite the ride! Oh yes, quite so. Did you close the fuel hatch? I thought you did. I was having a nap. So was I. Me too. They're just so lovely. They're, they're gonna burn all the corn anyways. Uh -oh. You are all such 
idiots. Oh no! Uh oh. The corn is spread to the four winds. Poor corn. They just wanted to live their lives. On like the all sentient beings. Especially vegetables. Oh. <laughs> I loved it. I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. <coughs> it was fun. <laughs> These are the song lyrics. for a right hand and a prison I'm inside. Top secret like pop secret. Yep. The burdens of this life. Whose name will go I hate that like the implications that all those just living things that just wanted to live their lives are now like dead. It's comical. But it's also kind of sad. The only one that truly had a life to lose, I think, was the queen. I think the others were too stupid to actually be sad. They're more like algae. Yeah. Or like a sea cucumber. I caught a sea cucumber one time. With like, your hand? <laughs> with a... We were wading through, like, really shallow water. One of my brothers had, like, a little net. He scooped it up and looked at it. It was covered in slime. Like, it was, like, running out of the net. Like, moving out of the water. I don't know. We googled it to see what it was, and it was a sea cucumber, and then we just sort of dumped it back in the water. So, earlier you said during the credits we would tell the thing about the the cars <laughs> in the room. Hold on. Remember 7.2. 7 turn this down a little bit. So, I do like a man with a master plan. It's true. <laughs> so, Mitchell and I have been to, just for the life experience and the lulls, worth it, with our wives, a exotic car wash. And we were sort of anticipating, like, oh, you'll pull in this big bay door and, like, scantily clad women will like wash the car and then you drive out ha 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 life experience you know high heels foot in the air slowly washing your car you know something from like a commercial oh Boy, no were we wrong there was a large bay door and a man came and like motioned us in front of it and when he lifted the door we were expecting like an oversized like car wash bay it was a strip club and you drive in on the carpet and there's a big drain in the floor. And off to the sides, pole dancers. There's like pole dancers on your left and like a bar on your right. And tables and customers. So all these heads look up in this dark, smoke-filled, you know, dimly sketchy. lit. Real sketchy. Yeah, like strip clubs are. Sketchy and all eyes, all eyes go to the bright blinding. Because it was like daytime. It wasn't like nighttime. All these eyes look up at us, and we have to just sort of drive in, and there's like somebody motioning you, and they, they stopped us. We get out of the car on sopping wet, like... Which I thought was really strange. Carpet. The, the first thing that I was like, this is weird, was when they were like, get out of the car. And we were like, well, what do you mean, get out of the car? I, so oh, while we're getting okay. out of the car, they're like pulling the big bay door shut. Because. And we awkwardly, <laughs> we awkwardly went and like sat down like at a table and um the guy who let us in was like maria car wash or whatever the name was and this poor bartending woman was like <sighs> and she had like a like a tube top that didn't have like shoulder shape she was like <sighs> and pulled it down and came out and started like scrubbing bugs out, like 
I can't get the, all the bugs off of your like white walls. And we're like, that's fine. That's fine. Like, and it wasn't like, ooh, you like it when I clean your car, baby? Yeah. It was like, argh, argh. She's like elbow greasing in there. Meanwhile, Hardcore. pole dancers are in coming heels. over trying to solicit like lap dances. Oh, it was so cringe. It was so awkward. So awkward and so crazy. You should really stop pressing Q. Never. But regardless, if you ever get the chance to go to a strip car wash, do it. It's weird and totally worth it. It was really weird. That's how most of our adventures end. Weird but totally worth it. Like strawberry uh, compote on deep fried pickles. Or the, the the rental store I found in 2017 that only rented VHSs. Mm-hmm. Which... That was quite the For vibe. the record, are the tapes that went into a VCR. Which, how for the record... They? was a box that you connected via coax cable to a television. Coaxial cable's that thing you screw in for your cable. For the record. Ask your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or just look old. at the back of your router. Unless you live somewhere where they have Google. Does, does fiber, fiber doesn't come over coax, does it? No, it comes over fiber wire, doesn't it? Well, I didn't know if like the last couple of feet of it traveled out through a co- hooked I've up to your... I've never used it, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah, we don't live in a big enough area for fiber. But anyways, yeah. Strip car wash. Do it. Weird. You will not regret it. You yeah. will, but you won't. It's really awkward in the moment, and you'll feel hyper uncomfortable. But afterwards, it's kind of funny to like <laughs> reminisce <laughs> about. And like, do you remember that time that we went and all those people were just staring at us, like getting out of our car, and then like awkwardly walking up to all the tables that they're sitting at. And, and like, there st- were regulars, too. I heard one girl talking about, she was like, yeah, it was a cool, <laughs> good old Carlos over there. He's a regular. I'm like, how do you come to the strip car wash? Bottom. Bottom. Like, do you just really care about keeping your car clean? No. I don't remember how much it cost, either. Do you remember how much they charged us to wash the car? You treated us. Well, it was your car, too. Yeah, I mean, I offered to pay you some, but you were like, nah, it's my car. I want to say it was, like, 12 bucks or something. And, like, what do you pay to go through, like, the laser wash at the gas station? You know, I eight bucks? I have my car in six years. I have no idea. <laughs> God, Seriously, it was so, it was six so, years. It was so cringe and so awkward at the time. How did but we even get on that subject? Oh, the dance, like the dancing ballroom yeah. in the game. And you That's said, "Where's how. the car? Or where's the bay doors?" <laughs> yeah, or, or something like the cars. Right here's where the cars can go. Okay, so maze. I liked it a lot. It was as outrageous as I was hoping for. It was really funny. It wasn't. The writing was fantastic. It wasn't old school adventure hard, where it was like, "This doesn't make any fucking sense." I got to call the nine hundred number. But you wait till you're at a friend's house to do it. Ooh, I didn't think about that. I didn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have one now. Yay! And you can call one nine hundred number here. You want my phone? Yeah. But, but I, I really liked it. Yeah, I, I liked thought, it a lot. I do. I, towards the end, I felt like that somehow. The game this absurd had kind of jumped the shark. Like in the end, like with like the dancing and like the DDR moment and the. But then he's like, you know what? You know what? Was brilliant. I get it. The scarecrows weirded me out. Yeah. Anything that doesn't have eyes weirds me out. Even if they're button eyes, it's still. I feel like I really liked every character in the game, except I was kind of indifferent about like the the Ruby Queens. I like the corns. I mean, to me, to me, they're like one character. Like they're all just yeah. the same corn guy. They were too stupid. They were like, like a thirteen-year-old would find this hilarious, stupid. You know what I mean? They were endearing, like a, like a dumb dog. Yeah. Like, yes, yeah, look how stupid you are. <laughs> yeah. Your dog's gonna Scratch run here any minute. <laughs> the gates up. Ah. Scratch his little noggin. Because he's a stupid head. Yeah. Yeah, they were that. They were that okay, kind of dumb. That's fair. I did, and I did think like the way they were designed. Like, okay, for the first hour or more, there was a real creep vibe to the game, mm-hmm. and I don't know if that was intentional or not. I straight up watched the trailer, saw some screenshots, thought it was a horror game. I thought we were going to be killed by sentient corn, and we were. 
I'm not. We we actually were <laughs> murdered right by sentient corn. We were. We nailed this. It was just like our episode <laughs> seven predictions. Yeah. Star Wars. Right all the way across the board. Um, do you think it would have been better as like kind of an absurd horror game? I don't. I think no. that I, I think that there's not enough funny games that are done well. Like I can't even think of the last time I played a game that I actually thought was funny. Uh, the last game I played that I thought was funny was Matt Hazard for the Xbox 360. The last game that I played that I thought was just like sort of absurd and whimsical and and had kind of a funny vibe was like Katamari Damacy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that wasn't even really funny. It was just absurd. What? Did you... I don't know what Matt Hazard is. I'm not familiar. Matt Hazard is a... It's a tongue-in-cheek game about video games. Like, you go through different levels, and you have to fight different bosses, and one of the levels is a JRPG, and he goes on a rant about ellipses and how they won't stop talking, and I'm not doing it justice, and I played it like... But it's meant to be funny. Right. I'm not sure if I've ever played a game that was meant to be funny that I thought was funny, but I actually kind of chuckled at several things in this. Yeah. Um, so I feel like that's a huge accomplishment. I mean, I, I don't play every game that comes out. And maybe it's just a genre that I've sort of accidentally sidestepped my whole life. But I feel I like... I can't think of very many funny games. I feel games. like I haven't ever really played a funny game. I feel like all the LucasArts... I mean, back in like back funny. in like the early 2000s, like Flash games on Newgrounds yeah, that were... Some, I don't, you know, I don't know. But like the Monkey Islands were funny. <coughs> Full Throttle was funny. Uh, Sam and Max is funny. Grim Fandango's funny. All of those old LucasArts point-and-click adventure games were funny. And I didn't play a lot of those. I played almost all of them. But I thought it was great. I loved it. I kind of like now, like at the, being at the end and looking back, I kind of like how the game started kind of mysterious. Like, remember that music that was playing at the beginning? Mm -hmm. It was like, wah, wah, with that little ding, ding. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was eerie. And there was like a deserted, being watched vibe. Mm -hmm. Which is fair because. You were. You were being tested by the sentient and corn I queen. And I really feel like... we got the sentient corn queen. <laughs> what, is it, what is it that Sheldon... Uh, uh, or, or, uh, what is it that Sheldon is making fun of Penny and um, Big Bang Theory for being like the corn queen's court or whatever when she know. was in Nebraska? I watched like the first season of Big Bang Theory. I, I think it was in the first theory. season. No, I don't remember it. Um... You know, but, but anyway, one complaint I do have about this, I think for me personally, it has zero replay value. Oh yeah, I never have any desire to ever play that again. We didn't get all the collectibles. I do need my rocks. Yeah, but I, I I I like that like the first hour plus, I really just couldn't shake the this is creepy vibe. Mm -hmm. These corn are watching us. They're luring us into a trap. They're and gonna then kill you, like, us. Turn and you see the corn standing there, and they're like, "Hello." That's when I was like, like, "What?" <laughs> like they're all gonna lunge on. Even, even I remember when we turned around and we were like looking at that um, like blast door that went down into the facility, and they were all like up over the top of it. That I still was envisioning them all like jumping and coming down it on top of me. Had a definite tonal shift. I'll tell you when it really took a tonal shift was right after that when we're in the facility and we start finding, like, Bob and Ted's notes and I then immediately great. find, like, Vladdy. Mm. I, it's like I almost forgot that um, the game was creepy and then it was just suddenly, like, a wacky, funny game. Yeah. But still in that, like, you know, not, like, cartoony, comic booky art style. I kind of like how there was, like, really cartoony elements, but it still had that kind of realistic FPS, like, graphic asset set yeah. like you know like the the corn looked like a sentient corn would actually look like in its face but you know what i mean like the like the floor tile you could have taken those yeah. textures and wall textures and, and put them in a different game fine. and it would yeah. have been fine it didn't have like a universally cartoony like uh asset base yeah you know what i mean um i thought the soundtrack liked, was phenomenal yeah i liked that a lot too but i i even liked that the so the I feel like it was a three-part game. I think I just flicked something gross. Anyway, first part is, like, eerie and weird. The second part is funny with all, like, the back and forth and just kind of adventure. When you, like, first hit the facility. Yeah. 
And then the third part of the game, I actually found that I really gave a shit about trying to help these corn people. Yeah. All for and, and it also off. was like the most absurd. That's when like the, the gloves really came off and it's like... But it still felt... Well, you're a scarecrow now. It still felt serious. Mm-hmm. You know? It's like, how can you be so Their silly? plight felt legitimate. Yeah. And I loved that villain guy. I thought he was great. <laughs> you stupid, stupid. Oh, Vladdy. You know what? We actually didn't the scarecrow see... scarecrow saved Vladdy afterwards. You know he put him back together. He built him. He can fix him. It's not like he has corn to hang out with anymore. So I guess the aftermath now is that all the corn popped. <laughs> Pop secret. Pop secret. But I guess now left behind is presumably up to 84 scarecrow people. Yeah. Sentient scarecrow people. Like, are we to assume that they were using the same, like, sentient, non-sentient thing to bring scarecrows to life? Like, I don't see why not. it wasn't really explained. And a damaged, possibly repairable Vladdy at this, like, crater that was once a sprawling cornfield and sort of the husk of a abandoned, like, derelict maze of lobbies. Yeah. <laughs> And I liked how the military was like, didn't we blow that place up? God like, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what in the goddamn hell? It's like, didn't we blow that place up? I guess not. <laughs> I enjoyed it. And though. you know, we didn't actually watch the kind of like big bleached, like covered in, um, what do you call it? The, there's I like s- the stalk of the corn and then like, I guess it's like corn leaves. Or no, when you shuck corn what is what is that stuff that comes off i've always called it the husk husks where it's like you know like draped husks all over Mm -hmm. him anyways that guy we didn't actually see him die we just saw the drone he was riding on spiral out of control maybe there could be a maze too where he did something brought brought corn back because you know he wanted to raise a corn army to fight against the flesh bags Mm -hmm. So maybe he could still, you know, the facility's still there. The, you know, sentient, non-sentient is no, still blew there. Because they picked it up and it exploded with the ship. No, that was just like the dirt that was, I don't think that was the facility. Yeah, because when it was raising up, you saw like one of the tunnels sticking out. Well, I assume some of it went, but I mean, I guess I was sort of 50, under the 50 shot. But yeah. It's still there or it's not. Yeah. Either way, Cause, phase two would be good. I'd yeah, play it. Because those baby corns. Um, we're down there, um, growing. Them little baby corns. I love baby corns. Like, in stir-fry? Depends on what they're in. Stir-fry. Yeah, sometimes they taste weird. Well, I mean, it's, what have you had them in besides stir-fry? A lot of, like... Cereal? <laughs> yeah. Well, I got one in a ketchup bottle was. It just tastes like ketchup. No, they, they sit in, like, juices of, like, Asian meals. You know, that you get from, like... China places, you know, like China Walk, China House, China whatever, and they, depending on how long they sit in something, they get really mushy and gross. To me, they always taste kind of like um, a crunchy little like they kind of taste like heart of palm like or they're they're toe. pickled. They're pickled like a little toe. I kind of wish that it had ended with the corn just sailing off into the sunset. Me too. I really kind of hate... That's probably my least favorite part of the game, is that the corn... I mean, it was funny to watch all that corn raining down, but they could have done that with, like, the 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 bad guy guy blowing up. You know, that, you know, they could... He could have blown up as they were taking off, and then they could have that same slow-motion montage at the end, where often, the, the like, kind of out of focus in the background, you see that ship leaving with, like, the big dirt clump, and then... In the foreground, closer to our perspective, all of that, you know, just slow motion corn, yeah. corn kernels that are popped going past the camera. I don't know. I just feel like it's it sucks to watch like a bunch of totally not. harmless, totally in- innocent, like, corn people, you know? I wonder where they were going. Like, what was... I'm what going was, with the moon. Yeah, like, what was the, the conversation? Like, you know, we're going to the promised land, we're going to get in this rocket, we're going to go... 
Maybe they didn't know. Maybe it was just like faith based, like a religion, and they were just the you corn know God told them. You know, they were going to like the the great cornfield in the sky or whatever. <laughs> you know, maybe they didn't have any working knowledge of outer space. Was that Ruby Queen woman supposed to be Helen? Or what was it? There was some note that we picked she up. She said she was going to do one herself. So she, like, created that one. Right. So the what only it, one that was created properly. So we know what happened to Fernando. What happened to Helen, I, Bob, and Ted? No idea what happened to Helen. Bob and Ted left in the sub. Because they met up and left in the sub. Presumably to start another something. Because Bob was like, I've got an even bigger fish to fry or something like that. Got a new angle on something. I got a new angle on something. Well, I'm very glad we played it. I loved it. I really loved it. Like, the more I sit here and think about it, it's incredibly unique. Like, we could have sat and played any game that was really, really good, but could totally be categorized with a bunch of other games that are basically the same thing. Just, you know, different subtle differences yeah. i have never played anything like this no and i hope the devs do more actually it makes me want to look into the development team and see what else they've done you know maybe phone games barbie phone games phone games uh, I, I dating no sims idea. yeah well, i mean everybody does a dating sim that's how you break into the scene corn themed dating sim <laughs> like a hat to full boyfriend where you date the birds or mm. whatever notice me senpai Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you had fun. We had fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I love all you guys. Hugs and kisses. My denizens of the internet. Hugs and kisses. So I don't know what we're going to play next, you and I. We'll probably discuss it over a slice of pizza mm. after we cut this camera off. And more corn snacks. And more corn snacks. Ooh, corn snacks on the pizza. Gotta go. Corn snacks on the pizza. Bye! <laughs>